one of those bad day, bad days. Well, not for you and I, but for the Biden administration, for the progressive Democrats, for everyone trying to take your freedom through agenda. Because two of their primary agendas just crumbled. Now they're proposing changing the way they're counting something for the first time ever, which we told you a long time ago needed to happen. Because in our first story, the Biden administration has now asked, demanded, requested, made a complete COVID U-turn in the way hospitals are counting COVID cases. I'll show you, don't worry for all those censors out there. This is coming from the administration. Things we talked about a long time ago. This is a shocking turn of events. It will change everything, but why is the question? Why now? Is it truly for accuracy in data? I'll show you what they're proposing it's all about, and then I'll tell you what my theory on the event is. And in part two, which we're going to do over at Restricted Republic only, because, well, you're no longer allowed to publish on this anywhere else, the... Let's see how we word this. The climate scientists have redone their models through the use of supercomputers that aren't strong enough to give them the models that they originally predicted. Hmm. And that's about as far as I can go on that. But trust me, the science is well worth a preview of what has now been uncovered by the Wall Street Journal. Before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel here, I I'm certainly hope you'll take just a few minutes to do that. It means the world to me. It also helps me tremendously if you share and, of course, comment on these videos. Your means of supporting me are at RestrictedRepublic.com. If you haven't gotten there yet, take a few minutes. Just travel over there. Look at the catalog Lisa Haven and I have prepared for you. And to prove that, we're giving you discount code 2FREE, the number 2, F-R-E-E -E at monthly checkout. That's going to give you two months for free plus 14 days on top of that simply for subscribing because we believe in the platform that much. We know once you're there, you'll never go anywhere else for your news that matters. But now let's get back to the story. So here on Politico, title reads, Biden officials trying to recalculate U.S. COVID-19 hospitalizations. The administration's goal is to get a more accurate sense of COVID's impact across the country. The story goes on to state, a task force comprised of scientists and data specialists at the Department of Health and Human Services and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention are working with hospitals nationwide to improve COVID-19 reporting. It's about high time. The group is asking hospitals to report numbers of patients who go to the facility because they have COVID-19, separate from those individuals who go in for other reasons and test positive after being admitted, the two officials said. Hmm. That would be a far more accurate way to count, but why wasn't that done prior? You see, you know the answer to that question, don't you? But the story gives some more details, some more colors, some more layers. The administration's goal is to get a more accurate sense of COVID-19's impact across the country and whether the virus is causing severe disease. Senior Biden health officials have increasingly relied on hospitalization numbers rather than case counts to determine how to respond to the virus as well as the efficacy of the vaccines. Lower hospitalization rates could inform the administration's thinking on public health measures such as masking. More accurate COVID-19 numbers could provide a better picture of the strain on hospitals and which resources they might need during surges. So it could impact masking. It could have give them more data and more accurate models to put resources where they're needed, and shouldn't this have been done from the very beginning? But we know government moves very slow and methodically in their directions. But what now and why now the change? You know the answer. I'll give you my prediction here. But we're not quite done yet because this will greatly impact the COVID tracking project and their advisory board because the, now Biden's proposing changing the model of how they do things. This will uproot Rochelle Walensky and the CDC, the CDC director, who said both hospitalization and death rates, as well as vaccination rates, are key to determining whether to lift public health measures, again, such as masking. But Walensky has said that the case rates are more helpful in forecasting COVID-19 trends. Our hospitalization rates are still quite high. Well, it appears the Biden administration is now moving against that and trying to assure that those hospitalization counts are accurate and will prove out to be the same model. 
According to this CDC report, one hospital in California, 80% of all inbound patients were due to COVID-19. But now the Biden administration wants to make sure that data is accurate. And what would that change? What would that lower? What thresholds would that adjust? As Omicron cases have come down, state and local officials across the country have advocated that the country begin to return back to normal and ease public health measures. Now we're starting to get somewhere. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, Delaware Governor John Carney, both Democrats announced Monday they plan to lift mask mandates for schools in March. California to roll back mask mandate after current rules expire next week. And now Vegas calling for them to lift their mask mandate. So it appears there's a movement afoot. Coincidental timing? What's coming up soon? What could change or adjust? Why now suddenly the call for a different degree of accuracy? That's right, the midterms are coming up, aren't they? As little old restricted republic predicted many months ago, things were going to change. And it appears now they are. Well, for some in this administration, others have found that they need to exit stage left. White House science advisor resigns and acknowledges disrespectful and demeaning behavior after investigation. Eric Lander, that is. You know how I've talked about him in the past. And sure enough, he's now exit stage left out of the picture. But the administration had many setbacks yesterday. Fed suspend a Homeland Security chief following raid on his Michigan home. The head of Homeland Security for Michigan and Ohio has been suspended following a search of his home. It appears everything in the administration is falling apart. So many of, so much of the direction they were heading not quite panning out. And then we're going to get to this story. Climate science scientists encounter limits of computer models. Bedeviling policy. We're going to cover that on Restricted Republic here in just a moment. But I just want to show you that not everything is always heading in the same direction. You see, things will adjust when it is necessary for them to adjust. The Biden administration making a complete U-turn on the way it now is going to count COVID-19 cases as it relates to hospitalizations. Now, I'd love to see in the comments below what you believe that's for. I gave you my opinion coming into the midterms that we suddenly are now going to have a call for more accuracy, which will result in my humble opinion in a lower hospitalization count. And it will lower the fear, the panic in many cities across the United States, which could have a positive impact on those Democrats running in those states. Now, do you feel that's linked or is it just a coincidence? That's the opinion I'm looking for. Can't thank you enough for being here. Please, again, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Get over to Restrict the Republic where we're going to continue on the next story, which is eye-opening, to say the very least. Love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight. Siding out. <laughs>